Are you ready to see some magic with science? Me too. Come backstage behind the scenes and I'll show you a quick demo of our magic with science magic trick. Hey, in our trick, we want to talk about chemical magic. For example, sodium, nasty, chlorine, nasty-er, but when you put the two together, you get a compound called salt. Now, we use salt all the time, and it's completely safe, of course, in moderation. But today, we're going to talk about how you use some chemistry to make magic. So, for a quick demo of everything we're going to do in the experiment, I'll show you some red liquid. This is sweet because we're going to make some berry bubbles. It's actually like strawberry. But it's a fruit juice. So I'm going to put some red liquid in, and I have some white liquid. Now, this one is sweet. This white liquid, it really is kind of blah. It really doesn't have any taste other than nasty. So we'll put in some white liquid. Oh, what do you think will happen? Red and white? Probably pink. No. Actually, it's more of a green with a shade of gross. That's really nasty. But I told you we're going to make some berry bubbles. This one is sour. Sweet, blah, and sour. Wouldn't really want to drink this either. But when you mix all of them together, we get berry bubbles. Whoa. This magic with science stuff is so much fun. You want to see another one? All right, great. I want to show you some polymer pudding. This is a white powder called a polymer. Just a little bit there. If I mix this polymer with water, watch what happens. This polymer will actually become a pudding. Check it out. Just that fast. It's already like a pudding inside the cup. It's so sticky that it sticks to the cup. Whoa. That's science. It's a polymer. Let me tell you how a polymer works. It works a lot like this foam ball. You know, a sponge, just like at home in the kitchen, it has little bitty holes. And when it absorbs water, it grows and gets larger. It gets even larger. Whoa. That's the way a little grain of polymer works. It absorbs the water and it sticks together with the other grains. You might say that this polymer pudding has honey on the grains because it's sticky. Yeah. Oh, I have another polymer, though. This is kind of neat, too. It's just like the other one, only different. Because you see, these grains, they don't stick together. These grains actually spring apart. So when I pour the water in here, check out what happens. Those grains absorb the water, and then they start expanding and spreading apart. Look, it's like snow. Yeah. That's kind of neat. So you might say that these grains, instead of saying honey, and they stick together, they have baby powder and they spring apart. It's kind of neat. Polymer pudding. Oh, I have something else to show you. It's uh, from last night. It's actually my bath water. Uh, I probably shouldn't be showing you my bath water, but there it is. Ew, that's really nasty. There's some big chunks in there, too. And I'm going to show you what happens when I take my bath water and I clean it. In order to clean the bath water, the first thing I'm going to do is filter it. So I'll pour it into there and get out some of those really big nasty chunks. All right. Now that water, that bath water is still a little dirty. So what am I going to do to clean that bath water? Oh, the bath water I had, that will eventually be our drinking water because we have to clean it. In order to clean that, eventually, we're going to have to use chemical magic. So we're going to use a chemical to actually clean the water to make it drinkable again. This is why it's so important for us to be careful about the chemicals that we might pour down the drain or down the sink because they're going to come back to us eventually. That's just a quick demo of our magic with science trick. And when you purchase the trick, you'll get all the information of how you can make all this yourself. This magic stuff is really pretty neat. Go to BarryMitchellProducts.com to find out more information of how you can be a science magician at your next party.